Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. So here we have the Kurt, and that's going to be part number C56150. And here in the middle we have the Takancha, which is going to be part number 118534. And finally here we have the Hopkins, which is going to be part number HM1114199. So this is going to be the end result of our wiring. We're going to have our four pole flat coming out at the bottom towards our hitch. Now we can take a closer look and look at some of the differences. Now all these kits are going to be using a module and that's going to help protect anything that may happen on the trailer end of your vehicle from back feeding into the vehicle. Now I do want to mention with the Takancha, as you can see the wires are coming out here. The manufacturer does recommend when you mount this, they want the wires coming out the bottom or to the side, but not vertically coming out the top. And this one's going to mount simply just by some adhesive on the back, and it is rather a large box, so that might be a challenge finding where to mount it. Now here with the Kurt, you can see it's a thinner box, and it's going to mount the same way as the Takancha with some double-sided tape and you can mount it anywhere. This may be a little easier because it is thinner to find a spot to mount it. Now the Hopkins, it's going to use the same module, but one thing I do like about it is it has these ears here. So if you didn't want to use double-sided tape to mount it, you can actually put a couple of zip ties and mount it that way. Now all these kits are going to be fuse protected and they do require you to run a wire from the module box to the battery. And they all come with supplied wire now one of the nice things I do want to mention about the Hopkins kit is that again it does come with a supplied fuse holder and the wire to run it from the box to the battery but they already have your pre-installed butt connector and ring terminal as well from the box there's a butt connector here so there's a little bit less to wire stripping and a little bit little less installation whereas with the Kurt and the Takancha you're going to have to do some stripping and minor crimping to put your butt connectors on. Now one thing I do want to mention is that the Hopkins and the Takancha both use a 15 amp fuse, whereas the Kurt, the Kurt's going to be using a 10 amp fuse. Now the benefit of a higher fuse is that if you have a trailer with a lot of lights, you don't have to worry about blowing a fuse because of that extra amperage. Now each kit is going to come with all the mounting hardware, zip ties, butt connectors, and everything you need to finish the installation. Now the Hopkins, however, it does come with everything you need, but it does also come with a small amount of dielectric grease, which is great so there's nothing extra to buy. Now all these should have adequate length wire to go out to your four pole, so there'll be plenty to get to your hitch. But the Hopkins, it does give you an extra foot of length, as well as having a coating around your wires to resist any rubbing or chafing on the wire. As mentioned before, they are all going to give you a four pole flat. And here in the Hopkins, you can see the cover is removable right here, as well as the Kurt. But with the Takancha, it's built into your trailer connector. So to sum everything up, in the category of vehicle protection, all of these kits are going to protect your vehicle from anything that may happen on the trailer side. As far as ease of installation goes, I still think the Hopkins is going to take it there because of the pre-installed buck connectors and ring terminals as well as the included dielectric grease. As far as the power rating goes, the Takancha and the Hopkins I think are going to take it on this one because they do supply you with a 15 amp fuse so if your trailer has a lot of lights on it you're going to want to go with that to make sure that everything is protected and gets the right amount of amperage. And that'll finish up our look at the best wiring options for your Dodge Grand Caravan. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.